The primary benefit of chalk paint is, is it adheres well without a lot of prep and you can distress it quite easily and it, it blends so that um, sanding it back so that you can see some of what's underneath. The disadvantage is you are always going to need a top coat, all right? You cannot just paint with a chalk paint and let it be. Um, a couple things are going to happen. The first is it's going to rub off. So like if you use it for chairs and somebody sits on a, your, your black chair, they're going to, there's a good chance they're going to end up with like, like chalk dust on their bum. Not really chalk dust, but you get what I mean. Um, it's not designed, it's designed to be top coated. Um, the other thing is I saw somebody posted that they wanted, um, they wanted to let it um, distress on its own naturally. Let me tell you, it's not going to distress. It's going to get dirty. Okay. It's going to get dirty. It's going to scuff. And then when you try to clean it, when you go to wipe it off, you're actually going to wipe the paint off. Okay. It needs to be top coated. That's it's, I don't know any other way to say it. You need to top coat it. Okay. So what do you top coat it with? Well, let's work through some options or walk through some options. So the first that you might hear about, particularly if you start with Annie Sloan, because that's the, the one that people hear about most um, is wax. So wax comes in two forms. It comes in this, um, if you can see there, it comes in, it, that's like a, a paste. So it's, it's almost like butter. Okay. And then it comes in, in more of a liquid form, um, which is this. So you can see how liquidy that is. All right. And, um, it also comes in colors. So if you can get it in brown, you can get it in white, you can get it in black, okay? Um, okay, here's my thoughts on, on wax. If you're a beginner, don't do it. Just don't. You can use it to highlight, and we'll talk about that in another video, but don't use wax to, um, to protect your, your piece. You're going to get frustrated. It's difficult to work with. And I would think that, you know, there's a place and a time, but if you're starting out, it's going to frustrate you. All right. It's not easy to work with you. You have to put it on and then wipe it off and then buff it. And, um, I've had very little success getting it to look smooth and even. Now I, when I went in and bought this Annie Sloan paint at our little stockist, and I'll give a shout out to, uh, the dandelion, um, in Tecumseh, great little store. It's adorable. The ladies are super wonderful there. Um, and they were telling me that, um, the, the owner was telling me that she loves to wax, that she won't use a top coat, that she loves to wax. And, um, and I'm like, I can't get it. And she said, I will show you how. So I'm going to take her up on that. I'm going to learn how to wax and we'll see if I fall in love with wax. Um, I'll be honest. I have not fallen in love with Annie Sloan. If, if there's a wax I prefer, it is this bare wax. That's the, that's what I've been using. All right. That's my advice about wax, but what are your other options? Well, let's get rid of some of this and I'll show you some of your other options. All right. Okay. So this is a, a matte top coat that's from the Rust-Oleum line. And, um, it's, it's a pretty good coverage. It's probably the most, uh, flat finish of anything I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to sneeze. So if I sneeze, I apologize. I'll probably stop. I'll probably split. I'll probably fix it if I sneeze. So it's the most matte or flat finish of any that I'm going to show you. And, um, it, it's nice coverage, but it's, it's, again, it's gonna, it's gonna pull up a little bit and I'm going to explain that in a minute. Um, this other one, this is polycrylic. I've used this a lot. So Polycrylic comes in a satin, a semi-gloss, and a gloss. Um, I've used this a lot. I like it. Um, it has its place. Um, but, again, there are issues. The last one I'm going to, no, the second last one I'm going to show you here is General Finishes. And this is their high-performance top coat. Um, it's a, it, it does give a lovely finish, but, again, it can be a challenge. So, here's the one that I use the most. Again, I don't do a lot of, I, I'm trying to be really not brand specific in what I'm giving you. 
but I'm going to give you this one because this is my favorite and I'll tell you why in a minute. So this is Polyvine. You can see it down here. This is the satin finish. You can see that here. And I order this online. So the reason, um, the reason I, this is one of the only things that I consistently order online. Um, and if I'm getting low, I order. I know it takes about a week to come in. This goes a long way, but it takes about a week to come in. And so I prep for that. If I know I'm, I'm, I'm running low, I, I will, you know, it's like a smoker that's running out of cigarettes. I need to get some in stock. So the reason I like this is because all of these other options, when you put it on, you're going to find. So if I were to, um, I'm just going to do a little demo here. If I were to, you know, paint, paint this on, um, sorry, up here and I, you know, you're going to go across one line at a time. I'll do a whole video on this, but I'm just going to show you why. And then I get down here and I go back and I'm like, oh, there's like a line there that I need to wipe out. And then I go back and do it again. This paint is already partial or this top coat is already partially dry. And when I go back over it, it will pull up. So it makes a glob. Okay. And now I've like, shoot, now I've ruined that. Now I've got to sand that down and start over again. So I, I don't sand it right down to the paint. I sand down the glob that I've made and go over it, but it's never as smooth. All right. Um, so basically polyvine doesn't do that. Polyvine doesn't, um, I can go over it again. I can get down here and go back over here and go over it again. And it doesn't pull up. It just lets me, it doesn't get angry. It just lets me do it. That's what I love about polyvine. It's just so easy to work with and it's foolproof. All right. So that's my, that's my, you know, a little bit of advice about top coating. It's my favorite. But again, this is going to work for you. Like, don't, don't get hung up on it. This is going to work for you. And if you find you, you know, you, it's, you're stumbling with it and get online. Polyvine's a little more expensive, but it'll be worth it to get it ordered. All right.